Hello and welcome to Experience Veeam Data Cloud for Microsoft 365. My name is Edward Watson. I am a Principal Product Marketing Manager at Veeam, and it's my pleasure to speak to you today together with Patrick Anderson, who is the Senior Director of Systems Engineering here at Veeam as well. So when we begin talking about Veeam Data Cloud, we have to acknowledge the amazing shift that we're seeing and how organizations are protecting their data. And if we look through some of the data that we've gathered in our Data Protection Trends Report, you can clearly see from 2020 all the way up to predicted uh, 2025 and 26, you can clearly see it. there is massive growth in adoption in terms of how organizations are moving to backup services. Um, all the way from the start of 2020, where it was 23%, all the way to almost 50% 50, uh, 50 predicted um, in the very near future. So clearly, we know there's a massive shift happening, and there's good reason for it. And you're going to really fully understand why this backup service adoption is happening, um, and really get a good look at how Veeam uh, protects the critical data in Microsoft 365 with our backup service solution. So before we really dive into backup services, it's worth noting that Veeam now has three different options with how organizations can protect Microsoft 365 data. Whether you want to simply download a backup, uh, backup software with our Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 solution, deploy it on whichever storage you choose, to of course manage services, which is fully offloading the expertise, to one of our Veeam Cloud and Service Provider partners, one of our tens of thousands of, of premium partners that we work with. And of course, whether you want a backup service, um, having an easy, quick way to access your uh, backup services directly through a web browser without any of the complexity on the back end. And we'll go a layer deeper in a bit on how that exactly looks. Uh, and before we do, this is all based on Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365. Veeam Data Cloud is based on the solution that we've had in the market for over seven years and 20 million plus Microsoft 365 users and counting. So we've had over a decade of continuous innovation and we are a strategic Microsoft 365 backup partner, been a gold Microsoft partner for many years and we're one of the first vendors to adopt many of the APIs that Microsoft have available and one of the first to be certified for Microsoft Teams. So let's get into Veeam Data Cloud for Microsoft 365. And this encompasses not only Microsoft 365 data, but we also encompass Azure data as well, Microsoft Azure data. These are cloud native cloud backup and storage services that really take out the complexity, it gives you confidence as you move forward in your backup strategy all based on a secure zero trust architecture and everything's included and very predictably priced as well. So looking at Veeam Data Cloud from Microsoft 365, this is all about data protection made simple, right? This is based on the trusted industry leading tech. This is all based on a modern, secure and highly intuitive user interface. And as I mentioned, everything's included from the backup infrastructure to the unlimited storage, uh, to the security patches and updates. Uh, everything's taken care of for you to really eliminate some of those headaches and, and, and really allow for a simple uh, user experience. So going a layer deeper on, on how we protect this data, uh, when it comes to backup software, you can clearly see from soup to nuts, you get the full control over your backup from the initial planning all the way to the infrastructure, the storage. There's definitely a strong use case for many of our customers that really want a highly customized uh, deployment method. When we look at what we manage in terms of Veeam and our backup service delivery, you can see that we take care of a lot of the sometimes not so fun stuff, right? <laughs> when it comes to the backup infrastructure and management, uh, configuring the storage, uh, the software patches, the updates, a lot, of, a lot of the things that kind of sometimes get in the way of organizations adopting backup to begin with, uh, but really still allowing you uh, to, to be in the driver's seat and have control over your backup operations, still have control over your restores and SLAs, 
that's still in your control. Now, if you want a totally hands-free method, uh, you can, of course, uh, go with one of our managed service options, which you can see that everything from the backup planning, the architecture, um, the SLAs, that is all completely given up to the service provider. And uh, you can work very closely with them to cater exactly how you uh, want control over your backups as well. And with that, we are going to hand it over to Patrick as we go an even layer deeper into the architecture. Take it away, Patrick. All right, thanks Edward so much. Let's get into the architecture and look a little bit deeper here. On the left side, you see the Veeam controlled or managed staff service part of this offering and all of the infrastructure, security updates, policy, certification, unlimited backup uh, and storage all controlled by Veeam, the right side again, you know, giving the user um, or any customer the ability to control those backup jobs, the restorations, um, advanced searching, uh, the SLA that you want to control. From an operations perspective, you have the ability to really control where your data is stored, where those repositories are in which region, um, giving you that flexibility from a data sovereignty and security perspective and also the granular control of when you want to restore and you know, how much backup policy is on each of those repositories. From a security perspective, um, on top of the Microsoft authentication coming in, we've got granular level of role-based security at the individual level, as well as at the group level, and also allowing you to offload you know, uh, important events and, and logs to uh, a syslog, for example, for integration with a SIM, uh, monitoring or, or alerting tools. You can generate reports and analytics, giving you, you know, rich insights to what's going on with your data and those backups. From an architecture perspective, we leverage the Microsoft Secure Graph API to access all of your data. That comes into our Veeam Data Cloud. And when backups uh, happen, it's all secure through that pipe. When restores happen, the Veeam Data Cloud goes through our secure CDN and firewall, accesses that repository, and then delivers it back through the interface. Getting into um, some of the configuration, we've got default configuration settings for retention, RPO, network access restrictions, but also allowing you to have customized versions of those. So you can lock down access to a specific IP range. You can choose when you want your RPOs, um, what regions and what restores as we talked about on the different repositories. All right, let's jump into the demo. All right, here we have the Veeam Data Console interface. It's an intuitive web interface as you would expect. Great place to start your day as system admin uh, get your cup of coffee, sit down, and you know a control plane to see what's going on. Here we've got you know critical components that you'll be interested in for backup status, users, licensing, etc. We'll start out with licensing. You can see that we've got 194 objects protected, but I'm licensed for 25, and this is really because we don't necessarily license for every shared object or shared mailboxes, things like that. Rather, just users part of the service. You can see how much data is in usage here from a quick glance and which users uh, have those largest data. Again, detecting anomalies, looking for anything uh, suspicious, but also making sure things are going well. Here I've got um, the status of my latest backups. I can take a look at how those are, the users uh, that are running those jobs, the retention policy. So perhaps I have a seven year retention policy. I'm two years into it here. And, and making that progress. This is a view of the, the Microsoft 365 licensing. Gives me an indication I've got 25 licensed on the Microsoft tenant, but nine are inactive in the past 30 days. Could be an interesting point just to make sure that we're licensed correctly on that side of the house. But in terms of uh, the Veeam licensing, we were licensed for all 25 in this scenario. As we look at some of the backup uh, jobs, you know, those are Configurable all from the middle. Below we have recent activity for a nice heads up view of current things that are going on. I'm jumping into one of the Outlook backups here and we'll look at some data for a particular user. And perhaps this user has left the company and 
we want to take some action on current email in the inbox. I've got somebody else taking over for them. And so we can start to look at some of the granular settings here and decide which components we want to restore. And in this case, I'm gonna actually migrate them to another user's mailbox. Um, I could save it as a PST, uh, et cetera, offload it to the network, lots of options. Again, with OneDrive, SharePoint, Teams, um, you know, different configurations down to the file level, giving you that nice granular access that, that you'll want for, for doing restores. Up here, if I jump into backup jobs, I can see you know, current backup jobs that we've done and, and maybe some of the status of those. Uh, if I dig into one of them here, I can see you know, some more detail around that. And all of this is, is secure and private to you as a user, right? Um, Veeam, actually our support team only has access to kind of system log information. So as this pulls up, I'll just kind of give you a little bit of an insight here, but it's kind of some oversight, you know, so this is the data that Veeam actually sees from a support side. All of your data is completely private to you. This gives us some indication though, if th things aren't healthy in your org, um, you know, we might be able to reach out and assist. I'm going to go ahead and create a new backup job just to show you this interface. And, you know, here we'll create a backup job for some of my executive team and monitoring those mailboxes, perhaps. Um, I'll jump in here and I won't do the whole org, but you could, and, you know, excluding some users or perhaps just, you know, selecting some users. If I have a file or something like that, I can, I can upload. And here you can see, um, I'll jump into M365 users and decide um, which ones I wanna pick and protect. And then, you know, which services, in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and do all of them. Um, and then as we look at, you know, kind of scheduling that and the timing, and then, you know, I'll, I'll get an event or a notification um, that, that that's completed. Um, you know, and again, this can be uh, routed to other consoles for, you know, email notifications, trigger workflows or automations, that kind of thing. Jumping into the security area, granular access for security control here of individuals and groups. And you can see all of that reflected in this area. Um, if I want to look at administrative users in the system, I see that here. And, um, you know, everything you need to kind of manage and maintain from a security perspective, um, all right here at your fingertips. Billing system information, my org details, and then of course, you know, getting into reports and some of those analytics if you wanna deep dive into some of that data. Support's not far away, it's right here. Um, if you need anything, um, you can reach out and it'll, it'll contact us directly. All right, that's the interface and kind of an overview. I'm gonna hand it back to Edward for some key takeaways for us. That was fantastic, Patrick. Thanks for running us through that. So let's close with a few takeaways. Now, when it comes to how this is priced, um, the backup service option is at a $3 per 50 per user month billed annually. And you'll notice that it is slightly higher compared to our backup software option, Veeam Backup for Microsoft 365 at $1.80 per user. Of course, there is reason for that. This solution includes both the backup infrastructure and unlimited storage and unlimited retention. So that is the reason why this is slightly higher than our backup software option. And of course, if you do decide to go with one of our valued Veeam cloud and service provider partners, uh, the price will vary from partner to partner for that fully managed option. So get your QR scanners ready. We do have some really great takeaways that we hope you'll, will be helpful to you. And the first is this interactive walkthrough. You can actually see Veeam Data Cloud from Microsoft 365 in action. Uh, you don't have to obviously download anything. You can simply click and start uh, going through this walkthrough that we have uh, within uh, as, as if you would the actual product itself. And of course, you can request a demo. If you are interested and you would like to really jump to the next step uh, in your backup strategy, you can request a demo right away and uh, begin this journey. 
And lastly, if you are interested in learning more about this backup services market for M365, we do have this ebook that we just released, eight, benefit, uh, eight Benefits of a Backup Service for Microsoft 365, and we encourage you to give that a read as well. So with that, uh, we will take questions. We will continue to answer questions as we receive them, uh, but we do hope that you will have a great rest of the Veeamon and have a great rest of the day. Thank you for joining our presentation.